لكي ندعو إلى الله لننشر الخير في الكون الذي حار ونرسل العطر من رض المدى الزاني ويشرق السلم أنوارا الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمدا نبده ورسوله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون هواه تبعا لما جئت به وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كل أمة يدخلون الجنة إلا من أبا قيل ومن أبا يا رسول الله قال من أطاعني دخل الجنة ومن عصاني فقد أبا أو كما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم صدق الله العلي العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الأمي الحبيب الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Respect to the elders, my brothers in Islam. Alhamdulillah, the grace of Allah, wa ta'ala, Allah has given me the opportunity to come here and share some virtues and the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sahabe Kiram, they asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know how to read salam. Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullah. We know how to read salam. Hame pata hai ke salam kis tarah parna hai. We know that. How to perform salam. But we doesn't know, we don't know how to read salat. Durood ke se parna hai. We don't know. We want to know how to read salutation and durood upon our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jibreel sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called the sahaba. Allah has given me the durood of Ibrahim. Normally we read in namaz. At-tahiyyatu lillah. And then Allah masalli ala Muhammad. That's the durood of Ibrahim. Revealed from Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala and given to the Sahaba. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, At-tahiyyatu lillah, then durood. It is sunnah to read durood Ibrahim in namaz, but Imam Shafi Rahmatullah says it is wajib to read durood Ibrahim. Wajib compulsory by Imam Shafi Rahmatullah. He said, Allah has given me the namaz, the beautiful ibadat. Because of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So why we forget him in our namaz? Why we forget him in our namaz? So we must also send salutation upon Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in namaz. Durud Ibrahim. But you see the words, the sentence 
begin of Durud Ibrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. You know the translation, Allahumma, O oh Allah, salli ala Muhammad. Salli ala Muhammad. Salli meaning we telling Allah. Salli. You send salutation and durood ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad. And what Allah told me in the Quran al Kareem, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Or aage kya hai? Bolo mera sahab hai. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. Oh, you who believe, Allah telling me and you, Oh, you who believe, in 22nd para, Sallu, you all read, Durood upon Nabi, Sallu, Alayhi, ay ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wa sallimu taslima, and salam also. I just want to share something with you, which Allah, my Sakhavi, Rahmatullah, mentioned, and his scholars of Hadith, that, Allah telling me and you to read durood upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we telling Allah, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. While Sahaba asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know the salam, but we doesn't know the salat. Teach us. So Allah send us durood Ibrahim. Hmm? You understand my question? So Allah telling me and you to send salam and durood upon Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and myself and yourself be telling Allah in every namaz and normal also without namaz Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad Allahu Akbar Muhaddisin said why we Allah telling me and I'm telling Allah Allah telling us and we telling Allah Muhaddisin said myself and yourself we don't know the rank, higher rank of my beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just Imam Bukhari rahmatullah alayhi mentioned in second volume in Babul Manakib. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was small, he was not yet balig, mature. Abu Talib, his uncle, was going to do business with group to Syria from Makkah Mukarramah to Syria. There's nothing of growing up in Makkah Mukarramah. So they used to go. They used to go to Syria. Allah Akbar. They used to go to Syria. They used to sell their camels and whatever they have. They used to sell whatever money they get. They used to buy groceries. And they used to bring to Makkah Mukarramah. They used to sell in Makkah Mukarramah. And they used to use also in Makkah Mukarramah. Subhanallah. So Abu Talib said his nephew, who he was, his nephew was Rasulullah. He was still a child. He says, This time I'm going to take you with me in Safar, in Jani, in Syria. He said, Okay. Rasulullah is traveling with uncle, going towards the Syria. On the way, the whole group went to rest. It was very hot under the shade of the tree. So the whole kafla and group, they're turning, they're coming towards a big, big tree. They want to rest under the shade of the tree. It's in Bukhari. I'm not telling you BBC news and CNN news. I'm telling you the hadith of Bukhari. Shri. Look at the rank of Rasulullah. Still he was a child. اس لئے میں کہا کرتا ہوں اردو میں نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پر جمال بھی ختم ہو گیا اور نبوت بھی ختم ہو گئی the beauty and handsomeness also ended upon رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and the ختم نبوت also ended there is no نبی after him he was the final نبی ما کانا محمد ابا احد من رسولکم ولیکن ولیکن رسول اللہ خاتم النبیین the نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is the final نبی there is no other Nabi after him. The whole Kaplan group coming to us. And they were rabbis. The Rabbi. They were sitting under the shade of the tree. They saw the one Kaplan is coming. 
when group is coming, they also want to rest here. While they were coming towards the shade of the tree, Hadith of Bukhari Sharif, they were coming, that was shadow was on the rabbis. The shadow is turning and welcoming to the kafla, to the guru, and is turning the head. When the, all of them, they come under the tree, under the shade of the tree, all of them, they found the place to rest. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi still was child. He didn't find his place. He told his uncle Abu Talib, I'm going to go over the other side. Other side, there was no shadow. All of them took the place. You have seen in Muzdalifah night, how they find everybody place. When they can't find the place, they have to go on the mountain or somewhere. They found a place. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turned from there and he came the other side. The rabbi said, I'm seeing that shadow is turning from the whole group. is coming towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The shadow is coming. Directly on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's watching. The Christians, Pope and Padre is watching. What's going on here? He asked the whole group, who's a group leader amongst you? All of them said Abu Talib. Okay, he called Abu Talib one side. I want to speak to you. He says, where are you all from? And where are you all going? He says, we are from Makkah al Mukarramah. We're going to Syria to do business. He says, who's this, who's this child? He said, my nephew. I know him. You know that. Abu Talib doesn't know. He says, I know my child. He knows just only nephew. He don't know the rank of the child. Now like my eyes open. I can't see my chin. I can't see my chin. I can't see my forehead. I can see everything. Abu Talib said, I used to see my, my nephew. I was, getting, I was getting peace in my heart. Not my children. I was seeing that, seeing that child. I was getting peace in my heart. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked, who's this child? This is my nephew. How like today we say, we know the Rasulullah. We know Rasulullah. We doesn't know his life. The businessman doesn't know what Messiah he said in business. The husband doesn't know what Messiah he says, what is the right of the wife. The wife doesn't know what is the right of husband. The children doesn't know the what is the right of parents. And parents doesn't know what is the right of children. Why is wasa? We know all his Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our Nabi, We know, I know him is mine. That's we know only. We don't, we don't follow and we don't study and make mutala of the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why Allah said, lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana. Only you can make yourself, your example, only who? Rasul, your sample, only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No one else. If you want to success, in this world, in your grave, on the day of Qiyamah, I am not saying, Allah said, you want my love, then you must for practice the life of my Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qul, in If you want the love of Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِي Then follow my Nabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. يَكْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Allah will forgive you entire sins. Hmm? Myself and we ourselves, we know only that we know, but we don't practice. Abu Talib only knows who is he, my nephew, that's all. And he is, we get peace from him, but he doesn't know what is going to be in the future. He's going to be fine at Nabi. He said, the rabbi said, listen, you came for business? Give me money, I can buy everything for you. But don't take this child more further. He said, why? What happened? Why are you stopping? He said, I can see because I am the alim of the Torah and I'm the alim of the Bible. I know the qualities in our books. He was the alim of the Torah and Bible. He says, whatever the Allah, the God mentioned in our kitab, the qualities of Rasulullah I can see his forehead 
It was written inside. I can see his nose written inside. I can see his eyesight, eyes also and his beauty and handsomeness. I can see same thing what is mentioned in Bible and Torah. I am scared if you're going to take him then the Christian people or the Jew people when they will find out about him because they don't want to find that Nabi come to Arabia. They must come in that their, their Nabi is in generation. So they're going to make shaheed this child. Rather you must go back to Makkah Mukarram and save this child. He saw the, the handsome, the, the, the light on the forehead of Rasulullah the shadow also turning and coming towards him. Why? Why not? Ummul Mumineen, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha mentioned one place, subhanallah. If those who, those who have seen the Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam, Allah mentioned in Surah Yusuf in 12th para, فَلَمَّا رَأَيْنَهُ وَكْبَرْنَهُ وَقَطَّعْنَا إِلْيَهُنَّ وَكُلَّ حَاشَ لِلَّهِ مَا هَذَا إِلَّا بَشَرًا إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا مَلَكٌ كَرِيمٌ The Zuleika, they were accusing Zuleika, that Zuleika involved in haram things with the gulam, with slaves. So what she did, she put the fruits, so many, so many type of fruits, and she put that all the knives and Allah said, call the, all the women, come on as a dower today. I'm inviting you, have a party. The all women can sit down here and eat, cut the fruit and eat. Allah <laughs> Akbar. And Zuleika said to Yusuf, you just come out from the room and just pass in front of them. Just pass through. When the woman was, they were cutting the fruit. Look at the word Allah mentioned, Wakatana, not Wakatana. Wakatana means just cut only one finger. Wakatana aidiyahunna. They don't know what to say. They just focusing on the on the handsome handsomeness of Yusuf alayhi salam, beauty of Yusuf alayhi salam, and they don't know what they're doing. They're not cutting the fruit. They're cutting the finger hands. But Allah mentioned, Wakatana aidiyahunna. Look like this is not humans. In Haza illa malakun kareem. Look like he's an angel. Why well, have they never seen the angel? Did you see angel anytime? No. But they were just heard that angel is going to like this. They said, This is no man. This is no insan. This is not humans. Look like he is angel. In Haza illa malak. Malakun kareem. Noble angel. They cut. Allahu akbar. Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala and I mentioned Allahu Akbar. What she said? Yusuf ki dekhne waliyon ne apne haat ka diye. Those who have seen the Yusuf alayhi salam, they cut their fingers. If they see my Nabi Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, they're not going to cut their hands, they're going to cut their neck. Who said that? Ummul Mumineen Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala na. Prophet says, Ana Malihun Muhammad, Ana Malihun, Wahi Yusufa, Sabihun, Mem Malihu, or Yusuf Sabi. Sabi means he is lightening, mashallah, his face. Everything is very handsome. Half of the like Husna was given to him, and half of the beauty was given to the entire world. Sabi, like a 14, like a moon, like a like you can see, like a sun he came out. But Prophet says himself, Malih, Malih meaning. He says instruction. That when people see Rasulullah sallallahu they come to and they want to die. They want to give the life for Rasulullah That wasn't for Yusuf and Islam. This is only for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi bin Dasana radiyallahu ta'ala been captured in Makkah Mukarrama and the hand of Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan said, Makkah people is going to be celebrated today, that we're going to crucify them, we're going to hang him today, not in Makkah, because Makkah is a hudud haram, we will take him out of haram. Zab bin Dasana radiyallahu Take him out of haram. I wasn't really, they were chopping his neck before that Abu Sufyan came and told him, I want to talk to you, some private things. What's going to ask me? Okay, go on. He says, we're going to hang you now. We're going to finish you today. We're going to kill you, chop you today. Can you wish or can you like that we can bring your Prophet Muhammad Wasallam from Medina Munawwara to here on your behalf and we release you? 
Can we believe Prophet Sallallahu from Medina and we hang him now, Zubillah, and we do everything, what are we going to do to you? He says, what are you talking? What channel are you talking? What are you talking? Nonsense. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is staying in Medina now. I am in Mecca. If you get a thorn in his foot, I don't take. I don't bear that also. I don't. Forget this thing to, to, to crucify him, to hang him. I don't. I don't want my Rasul Sallallahu to let anybody touch him. Look at Abu Sufyan when he accepted Islam. He said, I never seen anybody who had love. Like companions had love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. <clears throat> Tell me how much love we have. Prophet Sassam says, As-salatu kurratu aini. Prayer is a coolness of my eyes. Hmm? Who performed the maaz on time? How many people? You can see. How many people are in the Fajr, Zohar, Asr, Maghrib? Every month of Rabi ul Awwal remind me and remind you the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He came in this month and he left this month and he gave us message before his death. As-salah, as-salah, wa ma malakat aymanukum. Pray, pray salah and look after you, those who underneath, those who work under your head. Workers, slaves, those types. Look at here. Abu Talib said, take him back. Take him back. To Makkah Mukarramah. If the Jewish people will come to know about this child, they will, Nauzubillah, make him shaheed. They will finish him. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa I remember that his life, as I mentioned to you, the hadith of Bukhari Sharif. Allahu Akbar. Each and every my ummah will enter in Jannah, in paradise. Illa man aba. Except those who, those who deny me. Those who reject me. Listen to this hadith. And take lesson today. The lesson of month of Rabiul Awwal. The lesson of Sirah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Illa man aba, those who deny me, those who refuse me, those who reject me. I am not rejecting Rasulullah. So we believe Rasulullah says we will find a Nabi. Muhaddisin explained the reject and denied the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is Sirah. Qil, the Sahaba didn't understand. Waman aba, ya Rasulullah, what is the meaning of aba? What is the meaning of Aba Ya Rasulullah? Qala man ata'ani dakhal al-jannah Those who follows my life, they will enter in Jannah. Wa man asani Those who disobey me Those who, those who disobey me Those who don't follow my life Faqad Aba They rejected the life of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Believe me, what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that And what Allah is saying in the Quran and Kareem, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَا I just want to go more in detail about the life of Rasulullah Wasallam. How much lesson we are getting from Rasulullah Wasallam. The final my, my word that me and you, uh, we are, mashallah, entering the month of Rabiul Awwal. We must understand who came in this month and what his message to us. To me, to my father, to my mother, to my children, to business people, to those who work, those who do job, for each and every humanity, what is message and what was his last message on the Prophet Sallallahu life? What is the life of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And what he said, and he went to Allah wa Taala on the day of Qiyamah. Allah is going to ask, "Did you follow my Nabi? Because if you want that Allah gets happy." Follow my Nabi. If you don't follow the Nabi, you won't get the pleasure of Allah wa ta'ala. Then what will happen to us on the day of Qiyamah, my brothers? Yes, it feel bitter in my heart. But no, we love Rasulullah sallallahu We love his life also. So try to practice each and every sunnah and try to read namaz on time. Parogin, any parogin. Inshallah, we will perform namaz inshallah on time. Are bhai, inshallah to go. At least you say inshallah. <laughs> my sometimes inshallah, no, we have to. No, 
Inshallah, say inshallah. It's a beautiful time. Allah will accept, inshallah. Allah will accept our du'as, inshallah. And it's not hard for Allah to give us hidayah, inshallah. May Allah will open for us the way of hidayah, inshallah. Wa'akir da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.